Fish oil versus algae oil. Is one of them better than the other as a source of omega-3? And why did evolution make the human body dependent on omega-3s? Today's video will get into these details. So fish oil versus algae oil, what's the difference? Chemically, there's none. In reality, it's algae that produce EPA and DHA. Deep sea cold water fish simply consume them and concentrate those. So your choice could be either source, but if you want best value for money, then it would have to be fish oil. It's not even close. For example, if you were to compare all the omega-3 supplements in the market, you would find that those that are based on algae oil are about five to eight times more expensive than those that are based on fish oil. Of course, if you're vegan or you wouldn't like to consume fish-based products and you don't mind the significant difference in cost, please go ahead with algae oils. So that's settled. But then why do fish want to consume and concentrate omega-3s? What is the benefit for them? So to understand this, let's take a look at EPA and DHA again. And these are the molecules that we introduced in our last video. Now let's take a look at two other fats that are extremely prominent in the human body. One of these is called palmitic acid. It's basically a saturated fat. The other is called oleic acid. It is an omega-9 monounsaturated fat. Now as you look at these, do you notice any difference between these structures and the structures of EPA and DHA? you'll realize that these are a lot straighter or less bent as compared to the other two. And the reason behind that is the difference in double bonds. Let's take a look at palmitic acid. There are no double bonds here. It's a saturated fat. So essentially the structure is straight. Now let's come to oleic acid. There's exactly one double bond. So there is a kink, so it's slightly bent. But this is nothing in comparison to EPA or DHA, which are extremely bent or twisted in terms of their structure. So how does this matter? If the molecules are straight, as you start to decrease the temperature, it becomes easier and easier to pack them together. And by packing, I mean the oil will start to turn from liquid to a solid. So if you were to see saturated fats like ghee, butter, coconut oil, pretty much all of them will start to solidify at about 25 to 26 degrees centigrade, and that is room temperature. On the other hand, oleic acid, which has exactly one double bond, and it's a fairly high component of olive oil, that will start to solidify at maybe 19 or 17 to 19 degrees centigrade. But all of this pales in comparison to EPA and DHA, where you would have to drop below minus 40 degrees centigrade in order for these to start solidifying. And this is where these omega-3s are important to fish, which are essentially cold-blooded animals. This is the only way they are going to be able to survive the extreme sub-zero temperatures of cold ocean waters without having the fat freeze. Okay, so that answers why fish concentrate omega-3s. Why does the human body need them? After all, we are warm-blooded. We regulate our temperature pretty well at around 37 degrees centigrade. So there is absolutely no chance of our fat solidifying. Well, the same fluidity that is caused by the structure of these molecules starts to become important in certain places, especially in cell membranes. Now the membranes of cells need to be able to change shape. They need to be able to open and allow channels where specific items can pass in or pass out. They need to be able to activate receptors that can listen to hormones and make the cell do something or change its functionality. And here is where omega-3 has an important role to play. This importance becomes even more pronounced if you need extremely quick signaling or responses. And that is the reason why you'll see a very high concentration of DHA both in your eyes as well as in your brain. So all in all, evolution has solved this in a very elegant way. For humans, more than 80 to 90% of the fat on your body is primarily going to be saturated and monounsaturated fat. And this is where your energy stores come from. And just about 1% of your fats are going to be these omega-3 polyunsaturated fats. And they are there not for energy, but primarily for the functional role that they play in cell membranes. So I could have ended this video right at the point where I said that fish and algae oils are essentially equal except for the cost. The reason for explaining the rest of the science was to offer you some food for thought. Evolution has allowed the body all the features necessary when it comes to efficient utilization of nutrients. At the end of the day, fundamentals allow you to take charge of your own health. Until next time. If you've enjoyed the way Trulene presents the science behind fat loss, health and fitness, please like, subscribe and do share these videos.